Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. How do they view your connection? How do they view you? What do they think about you? What do they wish they could tell you? And what are their intentions at this time? We're gonna look at all of that today. For Cancer, all right, we'll start with you Cancer. Tell me about how Cancer's thinking or feeling in this connection. My concern. All right. Tell me more about Cancer's person. What is Cancer's person thinking or feeling? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. What's happening in this connection? What are the mutual energies, please, between Cancer and this person? Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. I feel like there's some sort of distance, finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. It is safe for you to love. Okay, let's get some more information. I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. Um, this is a deck that you can print at home, so it's very affordable. It's available in my shop. It's linked down below if you're interested. I, I still love it. I'm thinking about making this a... Um, physical deck we'll see okay tell me about cancer's energies for just cancer thinking or feeling this time sudden realization clarity truth epiphany a sudden realization has brought new clarity I think this is something to do with your ex okay tell me about the person that cancer is dealing with what do we need to know for this other person? Coming apart. Separation, endings, disconnect. There's a disconnect in this relationship. And then bottom of the deck, new beginnings. Beginnings, letting go, new day. You're ready for a fresh start. I am really thrown by this energy, um, Cancer. I feel like your person is going through a separation or caused a separation with you. And I feel like you're ready to release this person. I mean, that's what I'm seeing, but I'm not feeling that. So we'll see when we, what other information we get. Tell me what's going on in this connection. What are the mutual energies here? Mutual energies, please. For this connection time out timing patience waiting time is of the essence broken silence communication truth emotions suppressed feelings must be expressed be vulnerable oh okay so i feel like um someone's waiting for the right time to speak up here the right time to break their silence that's what i'm seeing okay so let's get some more information with the tarot because i feel like this is more complicated than i am realizing at this time <laughs> we'll see if i'm right but i feel like this isn't going to be one of those like clear readings so we'll see cancer what we got going on now remember this is a general reading so it will not resonate with every cancer watching if this is not your reading don't try to make it fit it's okay it just wasn't your reading this time around you can check back next week or check out one of my readings that i've done for cancer in the past spirit angels guides messages for cancer please what does cancer need to know about love now cancer i have you on this side I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more for you. Tell me more about, okay, I didn't even ask my question, but I have the King of Swords reverse. Okay, tell me about Cancer's energies, please, Spirit. Oh, okay. Cards just want to come out. So King of Pentacles reverse, Empress reverse, yikes. This is not a good partnership here. This is something that's not growing, someone not giving. 
This King of Pentacles could be in a commitment already. Tell me more for Cancer. What are Cancer's energies at this time? Ace of Swords reverse. Wow. Deception. What's this? The full reverse, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this is like something that um, probably was really reckless. I feel like, you know what I heard? Someone was being stubborn. This is what I heard. Someone was being stubborn and they lost something because of being stubborn. Maybe they were holding on to something a little bit too tightly. Holding back here. Not being completely honest. Tell me about Cancer's person. What are their energies? What are Cancer's person's energies at this time? The moon. Yeah, there, there's something here that's not being communicated or hidden. That's that Ace of Swords reverse. Tell me about Cancer's person. They're keeping something to themselves. Something is an illusion or hidden beneath the surface. Ace of Cups reverse. Justice reverse. Libra energy, Pisces energy here with the moon. Something's unfair, unbalanced. Justice reverse can also be um, a lack of uh, logic, reason, objectivity. Could be also a deception. We'll see when I clarify, but not a sword reverse. Definitely. This is, your person's hiding something. They're hiding something. But for some reason, I don't know if it's related to you specifically. We'll see, but I'm just not, it's just, even though this looks like a very straight, forward type of reading i feel like i'm missing something tell me about the mutual energies here for cancer so the mutual energies here for cancer and this other person six of swords honeymoon six of swords very similar energy moving forward traveling leaving a difficult situation for something more calm Tell me more about the mutual energies here. High Priestess reversed. Something coming to the light. Can I get one more? The Magician and Nine of Swords reversed. Someone's no longer scared to manifest or Someone's manifesting like overcoming their fear. I feel like someone's manifesting like opening up. Oh, but I have the Page of Swords reverse and the Three of Cups. <sighs> I should have known. <laughs> okay, so let's clarify. Spirit, angels. Let me clarify these energies for Cancer. Let's get to the bottom of this. Let's get into this because I feel like I'm missing, like, there's a missing piece here. <laughs> Tell me about the King of Pentacles reverse, please. Oh, well, that was quick. Two of Wands reverse. Tell me about the Empress reverse. Three of Pentacles. Okay. So I think what's going on here is there's a missing person. <laughs> there's a missing person here. Let's see, can I get one more for the King of Pentacles reverse, please? I feel like this Emperor's reverse is someone else. Seven of Cups reverse. This is about a choice. Possibly a bad choice made. Tell me about the Emperor's reverse. Five of Swords reverse. Conflict. Ten of Wands reverse, Nine of Cups. A burden being dropped in order to have emotional fulfillment and a new opportunity. So I feel like this Empress reverse was someone left behind. I, I don't know if that's you, Cancer, or someone this person that you're dealing with left behind. But with the Three of Pentacles, I feel like there's three people here. And with the Two of Wands reverse and the King of Pentacles reverse, that to me is like infidelity, possibly there. Someone could have stepped outside of their connection. With the Seven of Cups reverse, I feel like this might have been a mistake. I only say a mistake because the King of Pentacles reverse is not very grounded energy. Um, they can be greedy or think only of themselves. So I'm not thinking that this King of Pentacles made the right choice here. 
And then I have the Ace of Swords reverse here. Why is the Ace of Swords reverse? Someone could have been deceiving you and you just now realized it. What's this? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. There's that timing card. Maybe some time has passed here. Why is Ace of Swords reverse? The Ace of Swords reverse. Eight of Cups. Death reverse. Someone I feel walked away because of deception. That's what I'm seeing here. Someone could have walked away because something wasn't coming together, too much time, something to do with time. Ten of Wands reverse, I don't know why that felt like. Okay, so why is the moon here for your person? Whoa, that is way too many. Why is the moon here for this person that Cancer is dealing with? Now feel free to flip it if it resonates for you, Cancer. Why is the moon here? Eight of Wands reverse. This is something that's not being communicated or the fact that someone's hiding something is slowing everything down. Why is the moon here? Death reverse, Scorpio energy. Someone doesn't is resisting an ending of a partnership. Or, res, yeah. Or someone's resisting ending or changing something here. Emperor Aries energy, Ten of Swords here. I feel like this is about ending uh, a partnership. And that's why your person has coming apart on their side. But there's something hidden about this. Why is justice reverse? Why is justice reverse? Seven of pentacles reverse. Again with the time. Bad investment. Efforts. Time has been spent. Someone could feel like they've wasted their time or nothing grew. Someone's own actions could have prevented the growth of something. Tell me more about Justice Reverse. Or it could be that someone's impatiently waiting for something, like losing patience here. Queen of Pentacles Reverse. So now I have a King of Pentacles Reverse and a Queen of Pentacles Reverse with a Justice card Reverse. This could be a divorce or a separation, um, some sort of commitment here that's not doing well. And I have the Six of Wands reversed. And the Page of Swords behind that reverse. Page of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this could, could be some sort of um, long-term commitment. Can I get one more for this Ace of Cups reverse? Why is this Ace of Cups reverse for Cancer? Knight of Swords reverse. Someone's actions or deception caused a lot of heartbreak. I feel like your person's heartbroken or disappointed with the way that things have gone down here. Chariot reverse, yeah, there you are, Cancer. Full reverse. This was not a good idea. It's just kept them stuck. Um, they're not progressing forward or anything like that. They're just needing, they actually should change direction altogether, but they're holding on to something here. Cancer, tell me if this is resonating for you in any way, because I feel like there's a lot more to this than I am seeing. I'm gonna use a whole different deck to clarify the um, mutual energies. Let me clarify these mutual energies. I can tell you what I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing apologies. I'm not seeing expressions of love. I'm not even seeing communication here. Except for this High Priestess Reverse. This is something that's coming out. I'm seeing a lot of deception. And, you know, hidden things. Let me clarify. So let's clarify this here. 
move these over. Let's clarify what's going on in this connection here. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Eight of Swords. So someone felt, um, maybe there's actually, let me get one more. Can I get one more for the Six of Swords? Thank you. Page of Swords, okay. Communication. But there's fear, overthinking. Someone's feeling stuck. They're probably doing research, excuse me, or looking things up. Um, they're probably watching you or you're watching them about some sort of a departure. Six of Swords. I get one more for the Six of Swords. Nine of Swords, yeah, this is fear. This is fear. Someone needs to overcome their fear. F fear, anxiety, about making some sort of a judgment call. There's gonna be a loss for someone when they make a judgment call. And that's why they're like overthinking this, okay. Tell me about the High Priestess Reverse. It's trying to make a little bit more sense. Tell me about the High Priestess Reverse. This person could be trying to, coming to see you to talk, but I feel like this is more about fear. Tell me about the High Priestess Reverse. Interesting, I got the Magician reversed right across from the Magician and the Nine of Swords upright right across from the Nine of Swords reverse. When I see stuff like that, I think, Someone is saying something and doing the opposite, or vice versa. <laughs> Let's see. Tell me about the High Priestess Reverse. Okay. Tell me about the High Priestess Reverse. Tower. Yikes. Yep. This is somebody that is, you know, this is going to come to light and cause a tower. Instead of manifesting, I feel like this is going to blow up in their face because of the approach. Maybe fear got in the way. Tell me about the High Priestess Reverse. I'm also like seeing like it's almost like whatever secret comes out is going to be like explosive. Two of Wands. Someone needs to make a choice. I have judgment at the bottom and the two of wands. Past or future? Yes or no? This one or the other? A choice must be made because this person is not going to be whatever. You can't have it both ways. Again with like, yeah, this is someone that I feel has made a lot of mistakes up till now. And if they're not careful, they can continue making mistakes. Whoever has been hiding stuff. Tell me about the magician down here. Knight of Wands Reverse. Tell me about the Magician. Ten of Coin Reverse. Yeah. And, you know, instead of manifesting something, they just, they're screwing things up. Knight of Wands Reverse. Ten of Coin Reverse. This could be somebody that stepped out of a long-term commitment. Could have been infidelity here or just you know, isn't able to go after what they want, instead of causing, instead of having success, they just end up causing more disruption. Can I get one more for the Magician? Ace of Cups. And I feel like this is someone that's motivated by wanting some, like, new love or love. They're motivated by trying to do the, it's like they're trying to do the right thing, but their own actions lead to more conflict. Tell me about this Nine of Swords. Page of Coin Reverse. Tell me about the Nine of Swords Reverse. Now what I'm seeing here too, Six of Wands. Nine of Wands Reverse. What I'm seeing here too, and I got the full reverse at the bottom again with the Seven of Cups Reverse and the Death card. Scorpio energy there with death. It's like whatever I see this is going to end up with some sort of ending. Like it's almost like this is leading towards an ending. 
this is the wrong choice. This is someone that makes wrong choices. Doesn't look where they're stepping. Knight of Wands reversed. Doesn't plan very well. Things blow up in their face because they're not doing it the right way. What I'm seeing here too is I'm seeing someone who... It's like whatever they're communicating here, it's like this is just communication. They're not able to even give you something little with the page of coin reverse. They want success with you. They want to overcome their fear in order to go after what they want. But with the nine of wands reverse, there's like no trust or this is someone who is um, like stubbornly holding on to something that they should have let go of a long time ago with the Nine of Wands reverse. Someone that's extremely paranoid or defensive, they need to let their guard down, but it's almost like, I don't know, I'm just picking up with this Nine of Wands reverse, it's like someone that's been, um, it's like they've been stubbornly refusing to give up on something that they should have given up on a long time ago. So tell me if this is resonating for you in the comments, Cancer, because I feel like this is something also where like someone's saying something but doing the opposite, or they're doing something but they're saying the opposite, you know, like it's that kind of energy. I feel like there's a tower moment here that either has already taken place or is un under like on its, like it's, it's happening right now. Um, so let's look at the potential outcome to see what in the world is going to happen here. I feel like this tower is very, um, you know, this tower is, I feel, giving you some sort of realization. I think you're able to see something that you weren't able to see before. So let's see. So for uh, these videos, I'm going to be pulling three cards for the potential outcome. Potential outcome, please, for cancer. And then I'll be clarifying the outcome in the extended. I'll be pulling some cards for their true intentions. And I'm also going to choose some secret moon oracles from my personal deck here to see what they're secretly thinking or feeling. What is the potential outcome in the near future? For cancer, please. What is the potential outcome, please? in the near future for Cancer. All right, Cancer, let's see. Potential outcome in the near future spirit for Cancer and this other person. Let's see where this is headed. Ugh, oh, Ace of Cups reverse, okay. Seven of Wands reverse, what else do you have for me? Messages for Cancer, what is the potential outcome? in the near future spirit. No, oh, I got two. Five of Cups, Queen of Pentacles reversed. What's at the bottom? Four of Swords. Okay. Someone's really thinking about how they screwed up. That's what I'm seeing here. I'm also seeing heartbreak, disappointment with the Ace of Cups reverse. I feel like there's disappointment happening in this connection or, or it's like ongoing because someone I feel doesn't have the courage to fight for what they really want here with the Seven of Wands reverse, you know? I feel like all it leads to is disappointment, regret, regret over the past. With the Queen of Pentacles reversed, they are not able to give you anything. They're not able to commit to you or they're not able to make you an offer. Um, I feel like this causes more disappointment here. Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This tells me that there's no action, possibly no communication. Um, just someone thinking and reflecting on how much they screwed up here. That's what I see so far. And because this Ace of Cups is reversed, I'm thinking about the Ace of Cups reverse that your person has on this side. And so it's almost like they're the ones causing 
some sort of heartbreaking situation or they're experiencing heartbreak, but I feel it's because of their own decisions or lack of action. You know, it's like either it's what they're doing or what they're not doing. That's what I'm seeing. This tower, I just cannot stop thinking about this tower. I feel like this is happening right now or it already happened in your connection because this was in the mutual energies. Um, it could be that your person's having a tower moment in their life separately or you are. 